Hello, all the friends of CGTN on social media platforms. The CGTN Singapore team is in Cambodia this week. Uh, this time we are in Siem Um We've Siem Reap, Cambodia is famous for the Angkor Archaeological Park and that is the place where you have the world's seventh wonder Angkor Wat and, and not only Angkor Wat, you have many many different temples that were built during the Khmer Empire time and that's from the 18th century or to the 12th century uh, we went to Angkor Wat, we went to uh, Taprum, we went to a Banyan, a Banyan temple it was just amazing to see all these ancient architecture architectural wonders. So just like us, um, CM, a lot of people come down to Siem Reap to see uh, the Angkor Park and last year alone uh, Siem Reap vi- in welcomed 2.6 million foreign visitors to the parks and uh, after the sunset of course the parks close so uh, come with the, all these tourists there's a booming tourism industry and there are lots of markets uh, especially night markets popping out in and around Siem Reap. Um, Today we are at uh, the King's Road, the King's Road Angkor, which is an area, an entertainment area where there are a lot of restaurants and shopping. They call it King's Road, a charming food and shopping village. But what we want to show you is uh, a small market inside the market called Made in, called Made in Cambodia Market. Um, so this market uh, is is kind of different from the other market. Uh, they um, want to showcase the most authentic Cambodian goods. Uh, they uh, want to engage the local community. Uh, they hire a lot of uh, underprivileged, uh, handicapped uh, local people, and they are very focused on recycling. And today, we're joined by the manager of Made in Cambodia Market, Savan. Nice, Savan, to, nice meet to meet you. you. Please tell us, uh, say hello to the world. Hello. <laughs> uh, Please tell us how, how uh, what's the difference between your market and the other markets, and what's so special about it. Actually, the made in Cambodia market. Um, uh, we try to do this market very unique and very special for uh, showing to the world that not only uh, not only uh, selling the product. Yeah. We try to collect the people who. Understanding about the product, understanding about the how to sell with a high volume of presentation, yep. not just in the price. So it's not only about the product; it's about the experience yes. that you're going to give to the yes. visitors, right? Yes. You want to show us around. For you sure. know what are the interesting. Yeah. So interesting actually, first, we, yeah. I would like to introduce you. Yes, which please. Is this King's Road is a village which have matching with restaurants and shopping. Mm-hmm. So our market, we are cooperate with the King's Road Encore. They donate our location for our location. And we try to uh, uh, set up different things because uh, you will see different shops and different products. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we can start from here. This is one card. This is from uh, a lady. This is a large the product yep. from Phnom Penh, which is uh, an, an NGO called uh, Treasure from Heart. Mm-hmm. So, all the ball here, you know, all handmade. Hello. Yeah, also small. And we can see all the ladies are dressed yes, in dressing. traditional yeah, Khmer outfits. Yeah. yeah, so we're just helping to show the people about also our costume. Right, yeah, right, sure. yeah. Also, you can see some of the product here made uh, the, 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 the sub shoe, the browns, and also the lady, Hello. she's the wife of a guy who made this. Ah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we try to find the producer yeah. to, to to show to the direct to the tourists. Right. So there's no middle middle man. It's yes. direct from yes, the sure. people so who made it. So they, because so they you, could understand about the telling about the, how to create, right. how to make. Yeah. So you see you see a lot of these in Angkor Wat. These are the apsara. Yes, isn't apsara. It? Can you tell us the story about apsara? It's the apsara is the traditional is my dancing. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah. Can you do a few posts for us? <laughs> ah, beautiful. Yeah, sure. Not everyone can do, actually. Not everyone, <laughs> of course, it yes. have to be trained from the, from the young. Right, yes, yes. yes. Thank you so much. Yes, Thank sure. you. We have a lot, so I have to do this quickly. Yes, yes, yes. So this, this shop is just mixing with Hello, ladies. Hi. And she, she might see one of the uh, uh, ladies with living heart and, you know, her family create, you know, very simple product, but it's helping her family also. So you can test also different mm-hmm. kind of tests, yeah. We have so what, any kind of chips. Are they nuts and uh, yeah. chips? 
So the, this is from your hometown, your village. Yeah, my village is uh, also we make in family, mm -hmm. and we have this small business to support my family until right now. Right. That are very like small, supporting my family. Like uh, I'm doing uh, trips in 2010, and I have a chance to be in made in Cambodia mm -hmm. since 2013, mm -hmm. and. Uh, a small shop to start here. Mm. Yeah, and then we have produced many kind of banana chip that we create many uh, multi flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is our thing you can try. Yes, uh, please. So I would like to flavor. This is a uh, banana made with pepper. Banana made with pepper. Yeah. Now we know pepper is a very important ingredient in Khmer yeah, cuisine. Yeah. Um, you put pepper in a lot yeah. of the dishes, right? And yeah. you have this very special pepper called Kampot pepper. Yeah. It's from the Kampot region. Yeah. Isn't it? And we not focus on only Kampot pepper right now. Uh, mm. Pepper is having grown everywhere in mm. Mondokiri, Batambong and Kupong Cham. Mm. And we focus on the Kampot pepper is the best and brand name in the world. Quality. Mm -hmm. But we use a multi of the pepper. Mm. But the taste also have Sam, but mm -hmm. we, we try to support more and all mm -hmm. the quality. Where is your family from? In which province? Uh, we from the like Simriap. You're from Simriap, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I live in a small village in uh, Tessan Tubong village. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we come up with a small family mm -hmm. and producing chip until right now and mm -hmm. supporting my study until I graduate. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Okay, we put you to this beautiful product, also this Hello, hi. So, oh yeah, I've heard about you guys. You, this is the so traditional nice. liquor in Cambodia, so, right? So this is rice before Cambodian liquor. Yeah. And some our rice, and we put in choosing, and we give flavors to them by add fruit and spice and choosing inside. Mm -hmm. And it's kept for three months before it's ready for drinks. Mm -hmm. And also that we make uh, more flavors here. And locally, people drink this for digestive or appetite. Mm -hmm. After dinner, it's good for your so it's kind of digestive. Yeah, yeah. Certainly for dentists. Mm. Yeah. So traditionally, it's just a plain flavor, but now you revamp, you kind of make it cool, add a different flavor. Is it? What actually, kind of flavor do you have? Certainly. So actually, people make this uh, long ago with the flavors. Oh, with but flavor with, already. Yes, with okay. flavors already. But with here, we create more flavors. By, so we have like a lemon, lemon grass. So the what is it? More like a traditional taste flavor. Oh, this one is like a. If you compare to the taste to the European liquor, it's like a lemon cello. Like, okay. So this is a local lemon cello, mm -hmm. and uh, the coconut pineapple is like a pina colada. Ah, yeah. that's nice. <laughs> Just yeah. uh, mentions to get more clearly, yeah. and uh, so you yeah. can uh, decide. It. What are the mo What's the mo best seller here? The best seller here is lemon lemon grass. Lemon grass. And yeah. also we have a compote pepper liquor as well. So this is. Uh, oh, okay. So that has the pep pepper peppercorn. So we use compote peppercorn. So we have three kinds peppercorn? of peppercorn. So this is. Cherry tomato with black pepper. Oh. So that cherry tomato and black pepper. Umami. And also this is also common uh, like converts or combining art or so painted on a bottle. So exactly, kind of, yeah. Yes, I saw you have the, the, the temple here. Certainly, yes. Yeah. We have several things like uh, everything painted here. So That's Taprum, right? Yes, Taprum Temple. Taprum, <laughs> Bayang. Yes, Bayang or Bayang Fest. It's a village. Cameron village and this is a uh, Angkor Wat. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we visited. Asana. Also, the combination with spices and uh, we have amok curry and lemon grass mm -hmm. here. Right. So this is amok and lemon grass. Right, right. And yeah. all of these is a kind of spices so popular in here. So uh, this is obviously great souvenir for foreign when visitors come here. Yes. Are they popular among locals as well? Certainly. So this is really locally and also that people will love these flavors already. Mm. Mm -hmm. And alcoholic percentage is 27 to 29 percent. You can you can keep it in 27. Uh, actually, the alcoholic percentage is at 27. Oh, okay. And before train, you just put in the uh, fridge or make it cheers mm -hmm. before train. So is it better consumed cold or hot? It's better before train than cold or chill. Uh -huh. But uh, even uh, after train, so when you're not train, just sleep in a room temperature. Okay. So it's not spoiled. But it's, the fruit inside is will give more flavors by the way, like times you keep. I see. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. And more funny thing is alcoholic jam. <laughs> oh, alcoholic yeah. jam. Okay. Yes. New product one. It's so very good. get boozy yes. from breakfast time. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. We missed one uh, guy you. who doing painting here, but he's not here. Okay. <laughs> Oh yes, yeah. So one of the uh, one of the viewers said the market looks very clean. Um, so you we, you told us that you are very um, focused a lot on recycling, right? Yes. So tell us about you know 
with tourists comes with the plastic bottles and all oh, that. Oh, sure. We, buy, we start from our packaging. Mm. Our market is the first market which use only the recycled paper to make the, the, the plastic bag right. know, for packaging. Yeah. So we ban yeah. the plastic bag for packaging. Yeah. Because, because uh, most of the markets, most of everywhere, they use the plastic, which is very bad mm -hmm. for the environment. Yes, so yes. That is a problem uh, yes, uh, all problem over the, the world. world yeah. Yeah. So you will see the, 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 the bag, which is uh, our local. Mm -hmm. So welcome. We are right now at King's Road, and this is made in Kimberley Market. You can mm -hmm. see it is a part of the market and other business, other size. Mm -hmm. So we will start with with one of the. Okay. So these are all the vendors who yes, are inside. Yes, this is for the vendor. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think some miss because uh, we don't put yet yeah. <laughs> the sign right yeah. away. Yeah. Wow. Sorry. Hello. So we can start with the mobile. Hi. <laughs> wow. Hello. Hello. Well, unfortunately, we have a power outage so but we will make do what we have that's what happens in Cambodia it isn't it often yeah. yes um, so tell us what are you guys doing you're making jewelries um, authentic Cambodian style yeah uh, we use a, a variety of metals but mm -hmm. mostly people know us for recycled bullet jewelry right in Khmer and they say crop on plum uh, and this is made from brass mm -hmm. uh, and the reason we use it is because uh, after the last war, people found a lot of bullets and bombs in the ground. Yeah. They would take them and recycle them to make things for farming. Right. But the founder of this uh, social enterprise called Sal Mao, mm -hmm. she developed jewellery designs instead. Right. To yeah. do something more positive with that negative metal. Right, yes. And Very Davan inspiring. Is my master jeweller, he made nearly all of these pieces wow, here. Okay. okay, now I would like to show us. You, yes, yeah. to teach you how to stamp. Uh -huh. Okay, and then you can uh, check it uh, stamp, mm -hmm. how, what the shine or shape. Mm -hmm. and then this one. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And then you can stamp on the brush, mm -hmm. and then you, but your hand is so strong, and with the hammer, hold the hammer, one stamp. <laughs> okay. Oh, now I would like, uh, would, uh, I would okay. like you to try. Oh, okay. Yes. I will choose. 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 Yeah, choose you the can see the oh, I see. Stir, Stir the heart. Yes. yes. I will then. do the heart. Okay. So I put it like this? Okay, okay. Like this. Uh, does it have to be in the middle or doesn't? Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Anywhere, okay. Okay, and then make your head stop. And stop. Okay. Perfect. Wow. Wow. Oh, little oh, yes. heart. Yes. Look. So cute. Yes. We have many stamps. No. Oh, and okay, then I'll do more. And like this one you can make a like a flower or So this and is also using the same method? Oh not not the same. Not the same method. Like this one only this one. You can stamp like this. Mm. And you can put like this, you can try this one. Okay. Okay. Put it on the three hand, mm -hmm. three finger. Mm -hmm. okay. Stamp one. Okay, you see? Wow, mm. good. Good, good? Job. Okay, thank you. Yes, sure. So you yeah. have yes. you have little many? stars, yes. you have the question mark, smiley face. Yes. I see. So this this piece is yeah, from, from here. Yeah, from here. And, and you, you open it up. Yeah, yeah, and you open, you give the fire, and then you cut cut this one out, uh -huh. make a pendant or make a bracelet. Also. Right. And then you so check this one if you stamp. use this material to be, to make jewelry, does it get black? Because uh, right, sometimes yeah. up yeah, silver sometimes it gets black. black, right? So but how do you clean it? Yeah, you can use stuff. metal polish. Mm. All our customers are asking us, what do I do? When it turns But around. you can use Coca Cola and toothpaste also. Oh, okay. Another <laughs> magical use of yeah. Coca Cola. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> so what? Uh, we, we also do silver jewelry. Yeah. Uh, for people that want something a bit more special right um, um what's the best seller or like any pattern that's linked to Khmer that's uh, very popular among visitors uh well things like from the Sao Mao range things like this are very popular where it uses Khmer letters ah, yeah. but southeast asian coin patterns right these are very historical shapes yeah. 
Uh, and then we have our temple jewelry, which is inspired by Of course, Angkor Wat. yes, that's why everyone is here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you have Bayon, Angkor Wat. Yeah. Taprum. Yeah, so. So, what is this? This is just this the is bird the, eye view. That's exactly right. It's ah. the bird's eye view from the above using the lines of the walls like a map. Right, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you very much. It's so nice to meet you all. Nice yeah. to meet you all. We have more yeah, shops, shops to, to showcase. Year, so, yeah. yes, so that's a, a recycled, recycled, uh, recycled product, place. Yeah. So yeah, you were talking. Hello, hi. So you were talking about this market. Uh, it's, it's it's engaged the local community, uh, authentic Cambodian goods, but also you have a focus on recycling. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Of, of course, mm. because uh, we just not only create product with no thing, even which I'm also use recycle bullet, you know. Mm. And also here, you know, most of the we try to use the recycle thing the best as we can. Right. You know, yeah, because yeah. Uh, if you just create create new thing yeah. and, you know the world gonna fool And up. from the feedbacks from the tourists and it looks like that's what the consumers want, isn't it? Yes, yeah. yes, of course. So you will see more thing about the recycle stuff and yeah. uh, also other. So can you uh, oh, talk okay, to these yeah. guys? <laughs> Hello, hi. Hello Yes, what do you have to showcase so, to tell us? Yes, the first of all, I would like to thank you. So, I would like to introduce you our organization system that we call Friends and Stops. It's under Friend International. Oh, Friend International, yes. We were yes. speaking to them. There's a, a NGO, right? A regional yes. NGO, yeah. Yeah, NGO. So, the short time that we introduce our products. Mm -hmm. Our product is made from the recycles. Mm. So we have the parent or the student to make it, that yeah. they get a profit, they keep the children go to school. So first I would like to introduce about the for this. Mm -hmm. uh, the product we say the uh, flat bullet that is made from the tire rubber. Tire rubber. Yes, mm -hmm. the description of yep. the product yeah, is yeah. a very popular sale for our uh, product. Yep. And they are all made by Khmer people. Yes, by the parent or the student and but the community yeah. that they train by our organization. I see. Yes. And all the re profit goes into the uh, NGO. Yes. So okay. especially we have it's a farm for the this the notebook that is made from the elephant poop. Mm -hmm. So we have the sample set to take the poop from the elephant. We show and we try and then this to make the notebooks made from the elephant poo. Oh, this is made from elephant poo? Yes. Mm, so does it smell bad? No, it doesn't. <laughs> How? Oh, I did. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, yeah. so uh, just right Maybe go somewhere that has lighter, more light. Hello, okay. hi. So, uh, yes, uh, lady, yeah, unfortunately, see, yeah. The, we, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Yeah, so, hello, hi. Yeah. Um, so, we, we know that your uh, your design is mixed with the traditional style, yes. with the uh, modern yeah. uh, technique, right? So, what is what is this part, for example? Uh, this pattern, because in Khmer, this is the Cambodian traditional fabric that we do by hand woven uh -huh. from the woman in Kandar province. So this fabric we used for so long ago in the Cambodia culture and now I just would like to update into more uh, modern mm -hmm. and also can be used in daily yeah. and a bit uh, casual but um, it's more elegant mm -hmm. and also it can support to the woman they do this kind of job at home and mm -hmm. also for the woman that they sew in here in Simrip and some of the clothes we sew in here in Simrip and the bag we sew in Phampeng mm -hmm. from the other NGO so mm -hmm. uh, we want to change the opening from traditional into fashion mm -hmm. but uh, can go together mm -hmm. like a bit uh, too small and mm -hmm. also fashion in right. the same time so these are um, made by women. rural women in the villages yes. outside of Phnom Penh and Siem Reap. Yes. Yeah. And and these this is also handmade? 
Yeah, that is, is a handwoven fabric. Oh, yeah. and the golden part? It, what, what yeah, is it's um, they set up in the loom, so they have different pattern and different style. So I choose this design mm -hmm. because this one is more uh, difficult to make by the hand loom mm -hmm. because they have to take long time by set up the loom. Mm -hmm. So one of the very traditional, we have this pattern and mm -hmm. also something like this. Let me yeah. take out to show. Yeah. That's a beautiful pattern. Yeah. So it kind of looks like the top of the temples. Yeah, of course. Uh, and what the yeah. apsara wear yes. on the <laughs> like head. Like the crown, yeah. The crown, yes. Yeah. And also like this, we call like a diamond. Yeah, they have diamond a shape. small, small diamond pattern. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. like this. And what's the material of this? The material is cotton. Cotton, yes. Yeah. It's very lightweight. It's very hot. Yeah. Um, yes, it's, today is so. like 40 degrees, so yeah. this kind of cool oh clothes God. will be good. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. So Ah, so we can see the, recycled, ah, so see the recycled bottles here. Yeah. We made it during the Valentine's Day. That's why we the you could like the the, the the top of the bottle. The cap, the yeah. The cap, yes, mm -hmm. and then make it like heart. Yes. A lot of tourists love it. Too. We are, yeah, we yeah. all love our planet. We need to use less of those. <laughs> um, we actually yesterday spoke to an um, uh, initiative um, that started in Siem Reap that they give away um, water bottles to encourage tourists to you consume less plastic bottles do you, you know about this for uh, sure because uh, the yeah. guy uh, he, uh, he's a bundle of the market refill, also. Not, refill not refill not refill we yeah. also have a station here because we try to oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so we'll, tourists we'll can come and, and 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 have water here right right yeah. so it's yeah. really inspiring to see that uh, CMRI, I mean, yes. starting... Not only CMRI, uh, actually, it, now it's grew up to the world. It's grew up into yes. nine countries, but it's yes. in, inspiring to know that it started yes. from CMRI, yes. right? Yes. One yeah. guy who is the founder of the market also, he's right. a Christian. Yeah, 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 yeah. Together we spoke to Christian, yeah, okay. yeah. Let's go to one of the NGOs. Are you okay? Somebody says they hope you're staying cool. It looks very hot. I am very hot. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I've been sweating a lot since I got into this country. <laughs> So just a quick one, which is one of the Hello, small angels. Is guy going to explain a bit about his project? Oh yes, yes, please. So this is the art art work done by children. Yes, by yes. children, and we also provide free art education for Cambodian children. Right. For free. Yes. yes. Um, we've been here a few days. We've seen. Yes. Uh, we've met a lot of Cambodian children. Lovely. Yes. You know, they have the big, bright eyes. A lot of them uh, are underprivileged or less privileged than you know kids from Singapore for example <laughs> right but they are so talented yes they artistically they can draw they yes. can sing they can speak multiple languages mm -hmm. it's 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 just a very uh, inspiring to see these kids yes. so what tell us like um, what kind of uh, education uh, free or like is it an after school artistic education you are providing them or um, we provide like uh, we provide two things one is we provide uh, it was managed by Japanese women called Tomoko Kasara she's from Japan and okay. she's like now she's was 71 years old mm -hmm. and so we be doing studies for 12 years mm -hmm. we provide art lessons and we provide Japanese lessons for free for okay children here. yeah so these are all work done yes. by the children? Yes, it was by the children. Mm. Like yeah. around what age? Yeah, we, now we start from 2.5 years old. 2.5 years old? Uh, until really 31 different. years old, we do for free. Okay, yes. and where are the, uh, the schools? School is nearby here. Yeah. It, it's <laughs> outside <laughs> of San Marie? Uh, outside. Oh, San Marie. I can walk by 10, 10 minutes. So any, but any kids can just stop yes. by, it's free? We do for free. Right, okay. That's great. That's great. Thank yes. you so much. You Keep so up much. the good work. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Well, you guys are so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Worried about my well-being. I can go to meet Hello, a beautiful girl. Yes, and then yeah. after that, Well, speaking yes. of um, talented uh, children, uh, there's another one. Hello. Uh, he's the artist here. You're drawing elephants, right? Yeah. So all over Angkor and around, we, we see people selling paintings of temples, villages, animals, forests, what the, their country has to offer. We, is that a um, technique that's unique to Cambodia? We, we, sorry, <laughs> where is the Saban? Hello, sorry, yeah. Is this, is this a unique technique? 
because I saw the um, we visited a, a family and the boy was also drawing yes. with this. So, yes. Ah, so you use this to blend the colors. Yes. Ah. yes. Can you continue? Continue. Yes. So how long? So how long is it going to take for you to finish a painting like this? Uh, you did all these. I have some and some from my teacher. From your teacher, which one yes. you did finished? Uh, and that's you. Yes, I am. Ah. <laughs> like this little elephant. Yes, wow, elephant. that's beautiful. Thank you. So your your uh, expertise is drawing elephant. Yes. You're drawing yes. elephant there. <laughs> Since what age you started to uh, when, draw? When I was 12. You're 12? How old yes. are you? Now I'm 15. You're 15? Yes. So you start uh, three years ago? Yes, three so years you had a teacher? Yes, I have my teacher. Who's your father? Uh, or no, my teacher. Your teacher? Yes. Okay. How long would it take for you to finish uh, this? This side, five hours. Five hours? Yes. Five hours only? <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday we were amazed that the one kid can finish a drawing in three days and today he, he beat the record five hours <laughs> how much can you sell for this uh, this one yes uh, forty dollar forty yes. dollar very reasonable yeah thank you continue thank you. Hmm. okay so five hours this is more unique thing and then very uh, hello strange. hi <laughs> yes ah, that's beautiful it's like a red beans. Yeah. It's seeds, right? Yeah, yeah, with all original color also. Okay, so yeah. it's seed and you dry it up and then you paint it. Uh, no, no, it's original color. Uh, original color. Ah. You can see us the tree is like that. Then here. Oh, yeah. yeah. What tree is that? Uh, that the Chandrai in Cambodia. Well, how do you say uh, it in Cambodia? The Chandrai. The Chandrai. Chan Chan yeah. We have the big tree mm -hmm. as in Cambodia. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we have like uh, uh, people for grows up. Uh, near the river also. Ah, yeah. okay. It's beautiful color. And then, so we have like different seeds also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all original color. Mm -hmm. So you can make yeah. jewelry with and that as we well? Hold this one is original. Yeah. And then this one, we need time for hold it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it solid inside or hollow? Yeah. Solid. Oh, yeah. Solid inside. It, like the hole, you just hold it. Yeah, but the seed is solid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So would it would it like what kind of wear and tear will it have? The color will lose at over uh, the for years. This, uh, for this one, yeah, uh, it's okay. The color is not uh, uh come us. It will not uh, come yeah. off. Mm. But uh, it's uh, need the water a little bit, but uh, it's okay. Mm. But this one strong, uh, from the water is okay. This no one you painted it. Oh, uh, right? this one the original color. Also, also. original yeah. color. It's yeah. from the water. Uh. Uh, I mean, like, uh, it's need the running, it's okay, no problem. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. And my star that buy from the, the man, mm -hmm. he didn't have so, to like. So, the, you go to the village and collect the seeds from the farmers and then make jewelry. You, or you collect from middlemen? What's the story? Uh, I'm just to open like two months ago. I saw the local people, uh, they are the farmer. They are the so farmer. So when they are finished the farmer, they cannot to find a good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think uh, I want to uh, support and then share for uh, the local people and especially the man, he didn't have that leg also. Mm. So he was really difficult for uh, to find a good job. So mm -hmm. he was really difficult to find the money also. Yeah. So I show them they uh, near my hometown also. Mm -hmm. Where is your hometown? Uh, the Brevin province, mm. yeah, uh, near the Phnom Penh, okay. maybe two hours from Phnom Penh. Okay. Yeah. How uh, these seeds you can harvest all or all all or over the years? The season is there a particular season or then all as uh, all not the, the year we have all all year yeah. long you yeah. have it. Yeah. Okay. And how how uh, like you you collect by kgs and how much can they earn from you know the harvest? Uh, Normally we uh, <laughs> normally we the good try for all the customer and then uh, okay. we give for uh, the local people the too much also uh -huh. it's not a little bit and then for me I um, don't want to make profit mm. uh, I'm just to uh, need money some for store mm -hmm. uh, for me it's okay mm. because uh, I have 
uh, my uh, family for support my study also. Uh, you are yeah. still studying. Yeah. What are you studying? Uh, accounting and finance. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I think I have pay when I show the local people. Yeah. Uh, uh, they make it. So mm. I want not to support, but I I don't I can't to support because I didn't have money. Yeah. So I think I try to to to. Ah, uh, power and <laughs> stuff. Yeah. To find yeah. them and then yeah. uh, want not to support. So. I, uh, support the, yeah, the people yeah. I think, who need yeah, me to. I will do it. Yeah. Okay. It's Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. Yes. Yeah. Where did our manager go? Okay. So should we go that way? Okay. Oh yes. Um, I want to talk about that. So this is um. Come over here. So this is a traditional uh, classic uh, Khmer uh, scarf. It's called cro chroma, and uh, you can see. Come here. You come here. Our local, our local camera camera assistant is wearing that, right? That's uh, chroma. Okay, chroma. Chroma. Yes. Chroma. Uh, so it's 100% cotton, hand woven. And people use it for everything. It's very multifunctional. People use it. Hi, we're just talking yeah. about how chroma, yeah yes. how multifunctional chroma is. Yes. You can use it to carry things. A lot of th you a lot can of things. use yeah. it carry babies. Yes. You can you can sweat. use it as yeah, sweat. Yeah, yeah. You know, wipe your so sweat. Use it a headscarf. Yes. Yeah. You can even use it as a weapon yes, in Bokatar. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes, so this morning we went to speak to the Grandmaster of Bakatari. Thank you, thank okay. you. Yeah. <laughs> this morning we went to speak to the Grandmaster of Bakatari and he told me that uh, you can, this, this scarf can be uh, a weapon. Yes, you know, you can sure. put yes. stone in yes. one side yes. and put sand in the other That's side. Right. Fascinating stuff. Um, so this is also a store that's selling hand-woven chroma yes. and it's 100% uh, done by the, the well, local it's, community. It's a little bit. Oh yes, oh, hello, yes. hi, yes. yes. Oh sorry, I didn't know you were here. I was <laughs> talking all the things about Did I say no, it right? Yes, that yes, is right. So you can there's many use of it, right? Yes, yeah, many yeah. use of that. Yeah. So uh, when here obviously there are many foreign visitors come in and buy buy this. Uh, do they what, what do they what do you tell them? Uh, normally we tell them like what is what I said uh, okay. Because we have a lot of uh, Kind that we can use all of that. Yeah, we we don't have just not only scarf, but we also have the blanket. We can use it for the baby also. Right. Yes. But that's uh, traditionally you don't use have blanket, right? Uh, that's for the, the new product. Uh, normally, uh, the blanket we also have it, but mm -hmm. we can like the the scarf also. But oh, okay. Just uh, we make it more bigger. Mm, I see. Size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the most of the traditional color? Uh, the most traditional color is black and white and black. red and white. Red and white. Yes. Is there any meaning? Um, the meaning of black and white is like during Popo Dichim, the mostly people they like to use that color. The most what? Like the people during people Popo Dichim. They wear they black. Use, yes, they wear black. So they're the bad guys. Yes, bad. <laughs> so what the other people, uh, red, what, what, what is the red? Uh, the red is like uh, also um, like the good color because it's bright like the combination red and white. What kind of red? Is it scarlet red or mm -hmm. burgundy red or can you just give me an example, yeah. Oh. Okay. The mostly is this. This is the red. traditional yes. one, right? Yes. Mm. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's it's very strong, is it? Yes, it's very strong. And it's all hand woven. Yes, all really ah, hand woven. Hand woven. So these are made by people in which village is uh, your village? We have, yes, we have three locations. Mm -hmm. We have at Krolai, mm -hmm. and uh, we have at Banti Minjai, and one location is at Batambo. Ah, Batambo, which is yes. the second largest city yes. here. Because normally we just like the rural area, mm -hmm. area to mm -hmm. make things to mm -hmm. work with them. Mm -hmm. How much do you sell this for? Uh, normally we sell this uh, $5. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's but reasonable. if the people they get more, we can do them the special price. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's even special price. Okay. Thank yes. you very much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, 
we yeah, have more. This is endless. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Yes. Oh, you guys are making jewelries yeah. with, the, with the recycled material, yeah, right? Yeah, it's uh, recycled material. It's uh, copper. It's what? Copper. Copper, copper yeah. Electric. From ele yeah, electric yeah, wires, yeah. Electric, uh, yeah. Yes. So do, you, do where do you all the, uh, you can just uh, we, recycled uh, or yeah, buy it from? Yeah, we are going to uh, the, the uh, rubbish station, something like that. The, the station to station. Yeah, yeah. to collect. Yeah, to collect. Uh -huh. the recycle, They're very know. soft to work with, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Some some of them is soft and mm -hmm. some of them is hard. Mm -hmm. And are these gemstones? These are bit, yeah, gemstone and, and also Cambodia stone. Cam which ones are Cambodian uh, stone? Cambodia stone, like this one. It's, it yeah, would, this it's is, jade? Yeah, jade is Cambodia jade uh -huh. that I bring from the mountain. Bring like, from the mountain? Yeah, like mm -hmm. Hawaiian mountain, mm -hmm. and Hawaiian mountain. Right. Yeah, mm. and then I collect it and then mm -hmm. I make a pendant and make a bit. Something Where like did that. you learn the skill? Uh, this, I learned. Um, I check from YouTube and some of them is uh, my uh, idea and also friend. So you taught same. yourself? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> because okay. um, for me, uh, I am a landmine victim and very difficult. You are a landmine to, yeah, victim. Yeah, yes. I am a landmine victim mm -hmm. and very difficult to find a job in Cambodia. Yes. And yeah. why I uh, making this and create this and to uh, support myself. Right, yes, yes. So, can you support yourself with this small yeah, business? Yes, yes? Yeah. okay, that's good to but hear. Not, not, not big, but uh, we can live. We can live, yeah. yes, yes. That's good to hear. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, we have a very short and then we're going to see, to see the performance of the book. Right, but okay. We should meet her, but have a very short. Yes, short time. okay. Hello, uh, hi. Yes, I heard this is made from also a recycled material, right? Yes. The rice. That. Yes, ah, yes. This yeah. one is uh, not harmful for uh, two environments, so I right. choose this fabric. Is this linen? Uh, this, this one is natural fiber. Natural fiber. Yeah, made from the grass. Made from grass, yes. yes. And the rice is such a staple uh, yes. for Cambodia. Yes. And so uh -huh. there are a lot of those uh, yes. materials to work yes. with. Yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. But I want to show you about the back here. Oh. Yes. Oh yeah, so everything, if you purchase anything from made in Cambodia uh, market, you don't get yes. those nasty plastics. Yes. So you have uh, yeah. paper yeah. bags, yeah. recycled. Great, yeah. good initiative. We need more of you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you. Okay. okay. So we just also putting on the last natural graphics new team. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So there are so many talented uh, craftsmen in Cambodia. This is one of the things that I noticed that uh, they, they never went to art schools, but they can paint and they can make jewelry. They just watch YouTube videos and they teach themselves. Um, it has been, it has been uh, very in inspiring to see the Cambodian youth. And uh, as we know, this country has gone through a lot uh, in the past uh, decades the Khmer Rouge period, uh, brutal. Uh, I, the people I met in the past few days, a lot of them have lost someone, family members during that period of time, 1975 to 1979. And after that, they, uh, they, had, they fought brutal wars with the Vietnamese and civil war. It was not until in 1990s, early 1990s, they started to have peace and started to develop but in a very short span of time, we've seen um, the country is recovering. Uh, and I, in, in the past few days, uh, we've, from the people we've been talking to, I see this strong sense of nation building, identity building. Who are we? Who, uh, who are Cambodians? Um, th that is uh, represented in all sorts of uh, art forms, in martial art, uh, in um, their cuisine. There's this identity searching um, can, mm, I, how should I say it? The identity searching, um, like l l all these young Khmer youth, I feel okay. like there's this uh, renaissance of mm -hmm. 
searching about your own identity. Who are we as Cambodians, yes. isn't it? Yes. You see that in the paintings, you yes. see that in the in the art forms. Yes. And the, later on, yes. there will be a Bokator, um yes. Fighting performance, fighting performance, performance yeah, right? And the Bokator, uh, La Bokator, is, is actually um, a traditional Khmer martial art. Yes, martial art. And you can see that form of fighting carved in Angkor Wat, at, at in Banyang. And uh, La Bokator, literally, it means pound the lion. Yes, yes, the yes. lion. Yeah. So we're going to end this live streaming with a Bokator, Bokator performance. <laughs> okay, let's go. With that amazing Bokator um, martial art performance, we'll end today's live streaming. Bye for now. <laughs>